Since the beginning of gaming, people have become increasingly infatuated with the idea of beating a video game as fast as they possibly can. Minecraft is no stranger to this concept. Because Minecraft's worlds are randomly generated, and therefore typically unpredictable, better seeds are always sought after to be utilized to beat the game as quickly as possible. Unlike video games like Super Mario Bros. where the goal is to get from point A to point B on a fixed map, Minecraft's ability to take its own unique shape lends itself to a truly unique speedrunning experience. In this video, we're going to be talking about two different speedrunning techniques and why us as people are so interested in beating a game like Minecraft so quickly. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Typically, when speedrunning Minecraft, the goal is pretty simple, to get to the end and to activate the credits. Currently, there are two different routes that players can take, any percent glitchless and any percent. As you can tell by the name of the first category, any percent glitchless is just straight Minecraft, no glitches allowed. Any percent, on the other hand, lends itself to the possibility of using glitches like item duplication, the ender dragon skip, and so much more. However, the common thread between the two is still to get the credits to roll. So now that you know this, let's get started with the first category of speedrunning, any percent glitchless. If you've watched my channel or have followed me on Twitch for the past few years, then you'll know that when it comes to my speedrunning of Minecraft, I've typically stayed within the any percent glitchless category on a set seed. As previously stated, this category is just straight Minecraft. Back in 2015, I ended up beating Minecraft in 9 minutes and 43 seconds. At the time, players used a specific seed that allowed for getting to the end to be pretty much on a direct path. A video where I beat Minecraft in just under 10 minutes can be found in the description down below. So to start off the speedrun, you'll quickly run over and grab some wood. Then you'll dig straight down and find a dungeon containing a bucket, 9 iron, and a small opening containing gravel. Using the iron, wood, and gravel's flint, you'll quickly make tools, shears, and a flint and steel. After leaving this area, you'll quickly use your tools while running to the next destination to grab leaves, wool from sheep, snowballs, and a bucket of water. After reaching a lava pool, this water will be used to create a makeshift base for a nether portal. Because of the way that water flows, a diamond pickaxe isn't actually necessary to make a portal. Using lava, you can kill animals to get their food without having to cook the meat. After doing this, you need to jump into the nether, kill enough blazes to leave with two blaze rods, then quickly head back to the overworld. While running to the next location, you'll use your shears to collect leaves for later. Once you come across it, you jump into the cave, mine into the stronghold, and then you'll quickly run through the rooms grabbing ender pearls, then create beds with the wood you obtained and make eyes of ender for the end portal. Now, you'll use all the leaves you've collected to bridge a gap between you and the end island, destroy the pillars with snowballs, and then kill the ender dragon as fast as you can with beds. And with enough practice and luck, you can do all of that in just under 10 minutes. Since 2015, this tactic has definitely become kind of outdated and people have improved it a lot, but it's still a really fun way to get into speedrunning Minecraft. Recently, however, speedrun.com user The Sizzler beat Minecraft with an in-game time of approximately 2 minutes and 31 seconds. In real time, the run lasted approximately 4 minutes and 48 seconds. In his any percent glitched run, Sizzler took advantage of item duplication and a nearby village. Restarting his game on perfect ticks after throwing items on the ground, Sizzler was able to grab enough obsidian to create two nether portals. Upon entering the nether, Sizzler quickly killed a ghast which dropped its tier, and killed a blaze for its blaze rod. Using the obsidian, Sizzler created another nether portal and perfectly teleported to a stronghold. Grabbing an ender pearl from a nearby chest and duplicating its glass, wood planks, ender pearl, and blaze rods multiple times allowed him to get enough blaze rods and ender pearls to get into the end, but also allowed for him to create an end crystal. When entering the end, Sizzler quickly placed his end crystal onto the obsidian platform, tricking the game into thinking that the ender dragon was killed before it spawned. Therefore, the end portal is already opened and all the sizzler has to do is run right into it. As of January 8th, 2018, the sizzler currently holds two records for speedrunning Minecraft. 
one on the any percent set seed glitchless category and the other being any percent glitched set seed. So why do we enjoy beating a game faster and faster? Well, for starters, every Minecraft speedrun has the ability to be very different, as players go through the process of creating new worlds and researching which techniques do and don't have the potential to beat the best times recorded, we find ourselves trying more and more possibilities within the game. Players like Sizzler, among many others, continue to push the boundaries of speedrunning the game to its furthest extent. Because of Minecraft's ability to create a plethora of different worlds at just a click of a button, players will always be looking for the next best seed. And who knows, you may just already be playing on it for all you know. On that note, that just about does it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it, because it would really help out myself and Michael McChill, who co-wrote and edited this video, the channel, and the video quite a lot. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.